Hey everybody, welcome back to the homestead. Today I'm going to be working on the chicken coop, which I'm standing in right now. Now we use a deep litter method for the bedding in our chicken coop, which means we have to clean out the bedding at least twice a year. So it's been six months since I did it last, so today that's going to be my task, cleaning out the chicken coop. Well, let's get the tractor so we can get started. All right, so we're gonna use the dirt scoop with my tractor today to help us empty out the chicken coop. Now normally what I do is I use my pickup truck and I just shovel all of the uh, bedding into the bed and then I take it to the compost pile and shovel it all out. But dude, dumping it all out of the truck by hand kind of sucks and my back kind of has been hurting for a few days so we're gonna work smarter today and we're gonna use an implement. So I'm just gonna attach the dirt scoop onto the tractor and I'll meet you at the chicken coop. See you there. All right, we got the dirt scoop at the door. Now we can just take my aluminum feed scoop and start the bedding. Now the dirt scoop is an interesting implement because it's been around for a long time and nobody really uses them anymore, primarily because most modern tractors come equipped with front end loaders, but my tractor does not have a front end loader, so I use a dirt scoop. Now the dirt scoop does require a little bit of finesse as you can see here, I kind of screw up a bit. It's because I didn't hold the latch all the way that activates the dumping effect of the dirt scoop. But once I hold the uh, latch all the way, we can easily flip it over, drop the scoop, it resets itself and we can go get another load. Now a good way to think of the dirt scoop is kind of like a wheelbarrow with a motor. So instead of uh, you actually having to walk the wheelbarrow over and dump it yourself, your tractor does it for you. So it can actually hold quite a, quite a bit of material. As you can see here, it holds about uh, seven, seven or eight scoopfuls of chicken bedding, which makes the life a lot easier, that's for sure. As you heard earlier, normally I use my pickup truck to do this. I fill up the bed in one go and then I dump it all out in one go. And I actually thought that using the dirt scoop would take a pretty long time, but I was surprised to find that it actually went a lot smoother and faster than I thought it would. It only took me about four or five dumps of bedding to get the job done. And in fact, if I wasn't spending this time running back and forth to the camera, I probably could have done this in about 10 minutes, which isn't bad at all, especially because I don't really have to do anything besides doing a couple shovelfuls and then letting the tractor do all the work. So I think I'm actually going to use the dirt scoop every time I clean out the chicken coop. So as you can see, it only took me about one load to become a smooth operator with the dirt scoop again. It's been a few months since I used it last, so after a couple goes it gets pretty simple and you kind of get the motions down. In addition to the dirt scoop's dumping function, it actually also has a digging function as well. If you spin the scoop around, when you attach it to the tractor, you can use it to kind of scrape the ground and dig a bit of a trench. Now, I don't use that function here in this video, but I will be using it pretty soon on another project that I have coming up. All in all, I'd say the dirt scoop is a very versatile implement and one that you should have, especially if you don't have a front end loader. Now our compost pile is a little bit messed up here, so I'm going to use our dirt scoop the way it was intended, kind of like a giant shovel. We can scoop up the compost and kind of dump it and push it back into a big pile. As you can see, this is very, very effective and it works wonderfully. It saves a lot of back-breaking shovel work, that's for sure.
All right, with the pile cleaned up, it's time to pack up and head back to the chicken coop. parts over. Now the bedding we use on our homestead is just simple pine shavings. These shavings have been filtered so there's not a lot of dust in it that can irritate the chickens. And it's very affordable and easy to use. We don't use cedar shavings because cedar is actually toxic to chickens so make sure you use pine. Alright as you can see the coop is pretty clean now. We just left a small thin layer of old bedding and the reason we do this is because this bedding is already kind of composted and broken down. So if we just, if we got rid of every single last bit of it and we put in fresh new pine shavings, it would take a long time for that pine shavings, for the fresh stuff, to start decomposing and kind of composting in the chicken coop. So what we do is when we leave a thin layer like this, it kind of gives our new bedding a head start. We mix it up and it kind of has all the healthy bacteria and microbes and such in there to start kind of speeding things up. So let's start putting new stuff in. So the way the deep litter method works is if you're starting from fresh, you would take pine shavings and you'd put about four, five inches down, okay? But because we are reusing some of the old bedding, we're gonna do maybe three, two or three inches of fresh pine shavings. So the idea is, is you cover the floor completely in pine shavings. The chickens come in at night. The chickens come in to lay their eggs. The chickens come in here to chill out. They poop on the floor and we don't do anything. We just let them come in, do their thing. After a week goes by, what I do is I come in and I take more pine shavings and I just sprinkle them lightly, nothing crazy. Just enough to kind of cover the top, just to kind of put fresh stuff, just a thin layer on top of all the old bedding. So then what happens is I'll take some chicken scratch, which is basically like candy for chickens, and I'll throw it around here. The girls will come in, they'll scratch, they'll turn everything up, kind of like a compost pile. And then every week after that, I do the same thing. I come in, sprinkle a little bit of pine shavings, put a little scratch down, they stir it up. Leave them for a week, more pine shavings, more chicken scratch to come in and stir up. So basically what ends up happening is over the six months that the pine shavings stay in here is it gets thicker and thicker and thicker and thicker and everything begins to break down. And as long as you have good ventilation, it should never be a problem having too many fumes or anything gross going on. Basically composting inside of the chicken coop. The chickens are stirring things up, the chickens are pooping and... Quiet. And after six months, what ends up happening is we take it all out, dump it in our compost pile, put fresh stuff in, and we're good to go again. Now, if we didn't use the deep litter method, we would probably have to clean the chicken coop out two or three times a month. Now, I'm really lazy. I don't want to do that. I think twice a year is good. All right, now that we have our fresh pine shavings in there, we're going to take some chicken scratch, throw it in there, and the chickens are going to come and stir everything up for me. Let's do it. All right, girls. Get to work. Another job done in the homestead, and thanks to the deep litter method, one we won't have to do for another six months. Thanks for watching everybody. Please remember to like and subscribe if you like what you see and you want to see more. See you next time.